Hello, my name is Ricardo Rivera. How are you doing? Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Stillman speech. Basically, this is where you actually defend the, uh, the opposite side of what your uh, opinion is. So the argument here that I'm going to argue for, it is taxes are constitutional. So, because I believe the opposite, that they are not legal and, and they are unconstitutional, I'm going to argue in their favor just to, just to see if they really understand my point. First, I'm going to sub briefly summarize the central thesis to see if I understand you, okay? In 1909, the 16th Amendment was written down and voted for by U.S. Congress members, and uh, taxing individuals started being the legal then in, and also constitutional because there was an amendment added. Let me also give you a brief summary of my counter argument. First of all, according to a Rasmussen survey at Rasmussen.com, uh, we can see that an average of one of every five Americans or 19 to 20% of Americans don't fail, file taxes every year uh, by the day of taxes. Their, their, their filings are not there. So that's one of my points. And maybe these people are doing that because they believe that it's illegal. Um, the second is that the Supreme Court in 1895 decided that taxation was of individuals was unconstitutional or illegal. What's going on there? And then the third one is that the 16th Amendment was not ratified by Congress or Senate or any of the uh, local entities because you, to ratify anything to change the Constitution, you need not half of, this, of the Senate and of the, the, the Congress, you need two thirds of the Congress. And apparently, in my opinion, from what I've read from history, that didn't happen. Now let's move on. And now I will give you three points that represent the most compelling evidence in support of your claim that taxing individual citizens is legal. Number one, the Supreme Court dismissed all cases as frivolous, as, as you know, like they don't have any merit at all since 1909. So that is a compelling, compelling case for your point. Another one is that the official government side, the site uh, website says that the 16th Amendment is, uh, is ratified, was ratified by the correct amount of votes back in 1909. And the third is that, of course, the IRS.gov says it's legal. And you can just go and read the thousands and thousands of pages of the uh, tax code, and then the, you, you will see the answer, except that they wouldn't make a copy. Well, sorry, I'm not supposed to argue for that. I hope that uh, members of uh, the Supreme Court who are listening to me, I hope that you think that what I told you, you know, explains your point fairly. And uh, I just would like to know from you, members of Congress, if I did correctly state your position. Thank you so much for listening and uh, you have a great day or great night. Take care.